What's up everyone welcome back to my channel so I had a question related with uh, sand what type of sand do I use or uh, what is the aquarium sand that I tend to use I wish it was very easy to you know give out the name but unfortunately uh, you know these sands that I purchase uh, these are sold loose uh, now when I say loose it's basically uh, they are kept in a large container so when you walk into the aquarium shop you tend to just look at them visually and then you can just pick them up in your hand and feel the texture and then buy them so let's say that if you want to buy 5 kgs or 10 kgs then they tend to pick it up from that container and they start to put it in a bag they weigh the sand and then they give it to you so these aquarium sand they do not have any brand they're just sold openly all they do is they just pack it in a regular bag and they're going to hand it over to you so this is the most tricky part because there is no brand so we i can't give you a name for that uh, but what i do is whenever i go to the aquarium uh, again it's not always available at times i might find a particular sand the next time i go i might not find it so every time it tends to vary a little bit like once i have gone to the aquarium shop i have got a sand that tends to look like it's a little bit darker in color because it got wet uh, but you will be able to see the texture because this is what is more important when i go to the aquarium shop i tend to uh, look at the size of uh, the uh, sand grains uh, i know they tend to look like small rocks but these are the granules of the sand what we tend to uh, now this is a filtered one i've already taken out the fine powder uh, let me show you so this was the fine powder that was present in it you can see it's very darker in color because it was wet uh, but what's important is that you check you if you go to the aquarium shop you will be able to see uh, you know the uh, granules of the sand so they have to be of uh, this size i don't know how do you measure this probably this is less than one mm uh, so they have to be this small and they should not be polished please do not use polished uh, pebbles like uh, you tend to get in the aquarium shop you also tend to get uh, you know the other type of pebbles which are polished one that is not going to work out you, you need to use something that is very rough and that is unpolished like you can see I don't know if it's going to be visible these are very very tiny so you can see they're very rough uh, they're not polished so you need to have something like that so once everything is dry this is how it tends to look like now this is mixed with so this is 80 percent of aquarium sand filtered and then 20 percent of filtered garden soil so you can see it looks like this now uh, at times you might get a sand that you do not need to uh, filter the aquarium sand you do not need to filter uh, but at times you get uh, a mix wherein you have to filter the aquarium sand as well uh, but uh, initially like when i started around uh, uh, five six years back uh, that time the aquarium sand used to be amazing i think probably they might have got lazy now and they don't tend to filter it but those days when i used to get the sand from the aquarium shop i used to use it uh, right away i used to not filter it because it used to be very very uh, granular like this but off late the type of sand that i'm getting i have to filter it i'm going to show it to you in a while now over here i have another thing now this is not aquarium sand uh, this is something that i had picked up uh, from uh, a place where there was some construction going on uh, this was not on the road because this is not what we usually tend to find in our region this is not a regular soil uh, the people in that house were uh, creating a rain harvesting well so they had dug out a lot of soil from inside their house and then they had thrown the soil outside so i had picked up a bag of it you can see there's a lot of dust so i'm just going to filter it and you'll be able to see how it tends to look once it's filtered i don't know what exactly is this called what kind of a soil uh, sediment is this i'm not very sure because this is just randomly picked up but when i noticed when i seen this like i've kind of got an experience about it if i'm walking around and if i see a soil i know exactly that this soil can be used for succulents so when i looked at it i went ahead and picked up a bag and this uh, soil after it has been filtered it is one of the best soil that i could ever find much better than aquarium sand but again this is not available it was just a little bit that i picked up now you can see if i'm going to lift it up this is all the dust that is present in this and this is that beautiful soil that we have you can see the granules 
non polished uh they're very very rough tends to work out really well this is very similar to a cardama i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correct that is a type of soil that is used very expensive that is used for bonsai and uh, succulents as well you can see this this is the granules of this this is not river sand this is something else i don't know what it is so this is a type of uh, soil but of course i don't have it i just have a little bit of it because uh, they have cleaned that area i went two or three times i picked up a bag and then it was all done now i was talking about the aquarium sand so this is how the aquarium sand tends to look like this year the aquarium sand is quite bad so i will have to sit and uh, filter all of this now as you can see this sand now this sand is basically got wet in the rain i cannot filter it it has to be completely dry in order to filter it but i'm going to show you how this sand tends to look like you can see it's completely fine sand i cannot use this sand uh in the succulents until and unless i have not filtered it so i'm going to put it in this and show you you can see it's very very dense uh, right now when it is wet you can see it's already very dense uh and uh, this cannot be used for uh, succulents right away i will have to filter now uh this is like around uh, 200 rupees a kg 200 indian rupees a kg uh in usd i think it's going to be uh more than 2 dollars so i pick up around uh, 10 kgs at times i still have some more in the other bag so now you must be thinking okay 200 rupees or uh, 2 dollars is not going to be a lot but out of that 1 kg when i tend to filter it i might hardly get 500 grams because majority of that is going to be the fine dust so yes it is a lot of work uh, so out of that 1 kg i will be able to procure only uh, 500 grams of the granular sand but again as you know i don't waste anything the filtered uh, dust or the filtered sand i tend to use for making pots so nothing goes in waste but yes uh, it gives you a very less amount of uh, the sand granules when we tend to filter it i will put it up on the screen probably i had made a video of it last time uh, again the aquarium sand and river sand is the same thing uh, it just labeled as aquarium sand because it is being sold in the aquarium so that's the only difference but uh, at the end of the day it is a uh, river sand uh, either it is a filtered one or either it is a non filtered one if it's a non filtered one you have to go through the entire process it's all about checking uh, the granular sand at the aquarium shop uh, so that's why i cannot tell you what exactly is the brand or what exactly is the type because there is no type it is just uh, river sand all you have to do is just take it on the palm and see the size of the granules and then purchase it so that's about it guys i hope that you like this video if you did please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting